from the man who gave us this. The vast majority of people will have the same gender as their biological sex, but a small number won't. So a woman... Oh, well, they've missed the best bit. What happened with that? That was Ed Davey. Ed Davey has got a lot to answer for. He was post office minister between 2010 and 2012 in the midst of the post office debacle, where more than 700 branch operators were wrongly prosecuted between 1999 and 2015. During his tenure, Ed was approached by postmaster Alan Bates, whom he dismissed and told him that there was nothing wrong with the Horizon IT system. Ed told him, I don't believe the meeting would serve any purpose. Ed now blames the post office for apparently not telling him the truth, which shows that he was either incompetent or gullible, given the clear alarm bell sounding at the time. Well, even now, knowing the full situation, he still refuses not only to apologise, but also refuses to resign, which is ironic, as he's repeatedly called for others to do so for arguably a lot less. In the last five years, Ed has called ministers, MPs, BBC executives, and, in fact, he even called for the entire board of Thames Water to resign. In fact, Ed has notched up a total of 34 since 2019, of which 18 were demands for Boris to go. In January 2022, after it emerged that Boris had apparently given his personal backing for pen farthing and his animals to be evacuated from Kabul, Ed said, another day, another lie. If Boris Johnson won't resign, Tory MPs must sack him. I mean, that's just one on a long list. Rishi hadn't gotten off lightly either. None to date whilst he's been in the hot seat as Prime Minister. But Ed called for him to resign twice when he was Chancellor. In April 2022, Sir Ed said, when struggling families need support, Rishi Sunak has hit them with a massive tax rise. Now, instead of tackling the cost of living crisis, he's busy trying to explain his secret tax arrangements. The ministerial code requires openness for a reason. Sunak must resign. Ed has demanded resignations of former Cabinet Minister Priti Patel, Robert Jenerick, Chris Grayling and Kwasi Kwarteng. The list goes on. Yet Ed remains defiant. None of this post office fiasco is his fault, despite being post office minister at the height of the scandal and despite refusing to speak to concerned postmasters. Sally Stringer, a former postmistress in Gloucestershire, said that she had a letter which proved that Ed was fully aware of the Horizon scandal when he had ministerial responsibility for the post office. She said, I don't think he is fit to hold the position of running a party in this country due to the fact that he is completely complicit with the problems at the post office from 2010 onwards on his watch. Ms Stringer told the BBC, I've got a letter from Ed Davey to my ex-MP down in Worcestershire where he is fully aware of what is going on, to quote, in the post office because he put it in writing. So either he is not telling the truth or he is stupid. It's an election year and this issue is not going to go away across the board. Now, a Lib Dem spokesperson told the BBC, Ed's heart goes out to the families caught up in this scandal and his focus is on getting justice and compensation for those impacted. He bitterly regrets that the post office was not honest with him at the time and will fully cooperate with the inquiry to get to the bottom of what went wrong. In the meantime, Yvonne Tracy, who's been a postmistress for 30 years, intends to stand as an independent against him in his own seat. Poetic justice if she wins, which I suspect she will, as we are all incensed by this scandal. And Ed is not alone. The likes of Ujitsu, who, uh, in my mind, should be sued, and Takeo Starmer, who were all linked to this scandal, must also be accountable. Those in government at the time all have questions to answer, but those close to the action who had direct contact with the postmasters themselves, who dismissed their concerns, which turned out to be legitimate and correct, those who had the opportunity and responsibility to investigate the postmasters' claims, observing this odd and unprecedented rise of accounting inaccuracies resulting in many being jailed, surely that was worth looking into. Surely those should have smelt a rat. This week, Ed missed PMQs. He said that he was looking after his son, who is disabled, 
Well, I know firsthand what that's like. But to my knowledge, he has never missed a PMQs. Some might say that this is somewhat a convenient coincidence. OK, Ed, who are the people at the post office who you claim lied to you? Name them. You must know who they are, seeing as you are claiming it is their fault. They can verify your account and confirm that you are, in fact, telling the truth. If not, resign and hand back your knighthood.